episode of the Indemptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name's DK, my co-host is Bricky. He has all the 40k crazy ridiculous stuff. This is a great start to the episode. Whatever, we're just gonna keep going. If you enjoyed today's episode, uh, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash ridiculous, where you can get access to the Discord, access to bloopers if they happen, Wah-ah-ah-ah. and and uh, yeah. Yeah, consider supporting the uh, Patreon. It's it's a good time. It's fun stuff. Uh, Bricky's gonna tell you about some real quality merch and uh, the book club. Quality merch comes to you uh, by the way of Orchidate.com. You can grab hoodies, shirts, Orc, Wa, or I'm a tank, I guess. Shirt, illegally yeah. distinct mechanicus shirt, Doge Van Dyer stickers, and so on. Go ahead and give it a check. It's in the description, Orchidate.com. And for the book club, make sure you are up to date or you have begun reading. Kai Kai, Caiaphas Kane, Hero of the Imperium. Which book is it, DK? For the Emperor. Uh, For if the Emperor. If you're, if you're looking on Audible, it will literally say book one of, I think, six. Uh, but if you're actually looking to buy it, because you don't like Audible, you don't like audiobooks, it is called Caiaphas Kane For the Emperor. Bada bing. And uh, we'll begin some of that done next month. DK, my friend. Me. You. Me. Would, shall we do the usual quote? I'm not sure it can get much better than last time. Like, I actually got the Necron pot, I, part. I got the Stormlord part. How does it get better? Like, now people are going to expect me to know what we're talking about. No, I don't. Oh, oh sweet. Okay, well, let, let's get, let's do it then. I never no expect pressure. you to know. I always assume that you're going to try and you might get it, you might not. I'm very proud of you last time, but yes. we also had the, the Tyranids issue. So as far as I'm concerned, you've it's evened mixed it out. Bag. <laughs> We're back to a level you're, you're playing one, You're one to one right now. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Entropy is all consuming, fed by all struggles against it. Thus, even to hope is to despair. So despair and in your desperation, find purpose. Oh, that's the quote, huh? That's the whole quote. Would you like oh, me to read it again? No, so there's a lot of, a lot of entropy, a lot of despair. Uh, it almost sounds like something from chaos. It sounds like mm. if there was like a chaos scientist, mm. that would be a thing, but... I'm not entirely sure what faction or person that would be. Like, there's a part of me that almost wants to guess Fabius Bile because he's he seems like a boring ass scientist that's kind of loopy doopy crazy with chaos. Maybe I don't know. He's not Fabius Bile. Damn you! Yeah, your quote would have been high. I'm boring. I have no plot. I'm but Fabius Bile. I've, I've literally not talked to you about Fabius Bile. You're pulling this out of your ass. He's actually pretty yeah. interesting. Oh, <laughs> who was the one? Who was the one you said was like super hella boring and was like, uh, there was someone you said was like super boring and was like kind of related to Fabius Bile. Didn't really do anything, but he's just there because, um, uh, who's the Emperor's Fa children? Guy? Ferris Manus. Ferris? No, no, I got him mixed up with Ferris. Oh Manus. my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Fabius Vile. Oh, oh no, my. I got them mixed Holy up. Holy shit! Fabius oh, Vile no. is an insane mad doctor who used to be part of the Emperor's children. Oh. Ferris Manus is is Primarch of the Iron Hands. This is worse. Oh than the, no! <laughs> this is worse than the Sisters of Silence. Hey, all it's right. It's okay, actually, because all that means is. Next week, I'm going to I'm going to knock it out of the park. Oh, my God. All right. The quote was <laughs> spoken by Zalans the Racked, comma, speaker of rot. How was I supposed to know that? No, it's not the character we're talking about. It's, we're talking about Nurgle today. Oh, my God. Nurgle? How, what? Entropy and dis... Well, that makes sense. Entro Nurgle is the god of death decay, but he's also the grandfather of entropy. Yeah, we, we did a Death Guard episode where we kind of sort of talked about Nurgle, but, I mean, you know, it wasn't, like, all about Nurgle. It was, you know... Yeah, well, we did Death... You know, Death Guard is, is its own Nurgle. I mean, you do get plenty of Nurgle when we talk about Death Guard, because that's kind oh, sure. of stick, but... Yeah. Um, so, there's actually a, a humorous chant that is sung by Plaguebearer demons during the during battle... It goes, boobos, phlegm, blood and guts, boils, bogies, rot and pus, blisters, fevers, weeping sores, from your wounds the fester pours. 
Oh. They just keep they just keep <laughs> chanting that. Go team, they're the best football. Yay. Did they did you say they start off by saying boba? Bo boobos. Bo B U B O E S. Oh. I was about to say, uh, you know, Nurgle wants the big, bobas. big bobas. Yeah, they want those big bobas, man. Listen, Nurgle's <laughs> got way bigger tits than Slanesh will ever have. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I don't it's I don't true. like it. I don't. It's I don't true. like it. It might be true. That's that's monkey paw true. It's like it. Oh man! If only there were bigger boobs in 40k. And the monkey paw curls and gives you Nurgle. That's like having a fast car because it's falling off a cliff. <laughs> exactly. It's going so fast. So Nurgle, our boy. So Nurgle, he has a lot of titles. He's the Plague Lord, Plague God, Lord of Decay, Master of Entropy. Grandfather Nurgle is a common one. He's always Grandpa Nurgle. Uh, his sacred number is seven. Um, that is oh. his sacred number. So when it, I think Corn was eight, if I wasn't mistaken. Um, uh -huh. And Nurgle is seven. In fact, there's actually a ton of in-game use with the sacred number of seven in the Death Guard as well, which is pretty huh. cool. Um, for For example, very often a lot of the special abilities that characters have in the death or in the game normally have a six inch aura around them for nurgle mm -hmm. it's very often seven with the death guard hmm. uh seven inches so there's a little bit more there's abilities like if you roll more than a seven you get something yeah. one of my favorite things have we talked about a pox walker before i feel like we have the name sounds super familiar but i so don't know what pox, it is pox walkers are basically assume them as like zombies um, they're generally oh. human, undead humans that have been infested by Nurgle, and they serve as like mindless drones, like a giant zombie thing. Oh, okay. I think we did. I think that was in the Death Guard episode that we we touched on them. Actually, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's known as the Walking Pox. Very often, right. they just kind of stumble across the battlefield, bare, like completely right. mindless and just groaning all the time. They're very zombie-like, right? Mm -hmm. okay. um, but in the game. I think there's a, I, th I think it's either Stratagem or maybe it's a Psychic Power, I don't quite remember, but they have a thing called the Curse of the Walking Pox, and you roll seven <laughs> dice, and for every, like, three up, a Pox Walker comes back alive because they're zombies. It's like Ooh. shit like that, you know? That's that's pretty dope. Is is there a reason that they have uh, sacred numbers? Like, what, what exactly is the deal with that? I... I don't know, actually. It's just their sacred number. I, I, I just never assumed. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was supposed to be some, like, mythology behind it or if GW was just like, yeah, this will fit in pretty cool with the tabletop. Eh, you know, seven dice, seven this, seven aura. Eh, it's fine. Numbers, you know. Yeah, pretty much. I'm not really okay. particular. I think it's just kind of a cool idea. You know, keep okay. it at very seven. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Death Guard of the Seventh Legion as well, if I'm not, oh, if okay. I'm not mistaken. Um, Legion number... Wait, no, they're nine. No, no, they're six... No, they're 14. Oh. They're 14. So so seven times two. Okay. So if you're if you're a fan of Nurgle, you probably like to play the slots. Because you're trying to get seven, seven, seven. You know, if you're a big slot player, that'd probably be a Zinch thing, wouldn't it? Well, Zinch is a god of change, isn't he? Because uh, oh, all worry. the change you'll, comes out, all yeah, the tokens be come out. You'll hey! be separated from your change, all right? Oh, Ooh. yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. If you like but, Vegas, you're probably a Slanesh player, though. You're a Slanesh or you're a Zinch player. Yeah. I, I go to Florida if I want to be like Corn. So, oh. anyway, uh, just don't Nurgle, go to Florida, of course. Period. Just, that's, mm -mm. Yeah, just, well, I don't want to go to the warp either. So, <laughs> Nurgle. Uh, obviously, the Nurgle as a as a major chaos god, his whole shtick is pestilence. We all know that decay, yep. death, um, the concept of of life and death, rebirth, and, and Zinch and Nurgle hate each other's guts, and, and to an extent, okay, yeah. to an extent, literally hate each other's guts because guts, and it's gross, <laughs> yeah, and because Nurgle, ha ha ha, because uh -huh. Zinch is always, of course, the concept of hope. And like change and constant adjustment, Nurgle is the god of stagnation, despair, and death. Oh, okay, right. Um, so Nur is sloth, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. Nurgle is the god of death and decay, but also in a sense the god of rebirth, because decay 
is a a part of life, the cycle of life. Nothing oh, can yeah. grow new without death. Yeah. And, and you like grow new in in every sense of the of the nature. Like like a disease is a living thing, mm-hmm. a fungus, yeah. you know, a tumor, it's a bacteria. Yeah, these are all living things that that grow, take, build, uh, kill, and die. But then they come anew. The concept for Nurgle very often is that it's acceptance of death, acceptance of despair and and decay. Because everything will decay, everything, yeah. not just the body and the and the mind, but also like a building will crumble at some After point. Like time, yeah. yeah, yeah. Things things will rust. That is like everything will decay at some point, whereas Zine represents more of like change and adjustments and, and yeah. hope uh, and, and conniving schemes. And Nurgle is just kind of there, like life takes it, life goes, life continues. That's how it is. That's kind of interesting because I would almost think that Zinch and Nurgle would like each other a little bit more because, like, I mean, for something to go from living to decay to dust it has to change it has to metamorphosize like it has to go through a cycle so it has to become different so you'd think they'd actually be like kind of pals like that's the one I, I guess you could put it in that way that's an interesting perspective on the matter yeah. uh, the, I, I would think it's more on the idea that like Nurgle doesn't want to do anything <laughs> and Zeech is like manipulative He's like manipulating ah. things, like like the chain strands of fate. You know, he's the weaver right. of fate, and and like he. I think the idea is Zinch wants to circumvent that concept, where Nur- Nurgle would lay in a big bed and watch the Great British Baking Show <laughs> and gorge on food and is and and piss and shit and not move until Ooh. he dies. Where where Zinch would 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 try to find a way to enter the TV and fuck up the show. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I, I, that that you know, then definitely fuck fuck Zinch, man. Uh, I was I was with Nurgle until the piss and shit part, because I mean I, I have spent many a night just like oh yeah, I'm just gonna gorge myself watching the Great British Baking Show. Yeah. Um, but she does make a <laughs> she makes a good point where yeah, Corn and Slanesh kind of hate each other a lot more because Corn is always butt fuck mad, but he's particularly angry with Slanesh because oh, yeah. they're they're like literal opposites. Corn oh, yeah. is death, murder, murder, and Slanesh's uh, delay of and torment. Yeah, because Corn, uh, he wants it's like he wants to kill it, like he, he wants it dead. And Slanesh is just like, I'm gonna elongate it. We're gonna torture it for all of eternity. And Corn's like, just kill him already. Yeah, you know, Corn's like, go <laughs> yeah. like like Corn's like, go fuck yourself. And Slanesh is like, fuck me yourself, coward. And this just kind of goes that way, you know. That's how, and then Corn's like, oh, good. stop! It's not the relationship <laughs> I want. I'm imagining Corn as being like really insecure on the inside. And he's just like, oh, I want someone who could support me. Corn, Corn leaves his shirt on during sex. That's he's insecure. Z, uh, <laughs> Nurgle just Nurgle just lays on his back and he's like, just get on. I'm, I'm not moving. Yeah. Just do it. Uh, but uh, but Nurgle, uh, the the strength Nurgle gets is commonly from from that concept of, of decay. Uh, but he also gets a lot of strength from like uh, prayers for the sick. It's kind oh, of interesting. Really? Nurgle, the power of Nurgle, like as his, you know, we got pandemics and disease and that kind of stuff is sure. all major. But if, if like if you had like a parent like dying of cancer or something, and you were praying for their safety, like the diseased patient praying for their safety that feeds nurgle or or like a dying man praying for like another day to live that feeds nurgle like those that anguish the despair and sadness of something dying or or of uh, old age like rot you know anything like that that gives nurgle his his power no wonder he's so fat with power because like i mean even even when it's not a panda, I was gonna say 2020, 2021, Nurgle getting fat. Um, but e- even without a pandemic, like there's always, you know, there's always someone that's uh sick or dying of old age or suffering from uh disease. So Nurgle's mm-hmm. gotta be whew, no wonder the Death Guard is so strong. 
that's the cons like the concept is that they stay a, a nurgle like stays they can stay alive for so much longer even though they're despairing and dying mm -hmm. uh, which is a little bit counterintuitive to the earlier statement but yeah, it's I was, like that, I was that, gonna that's... say everything's like pox walking and zombie and you'd kind of think that he'd want them to just decay die get out I think it's kind of this thing that they are decaying and dying, but they're decaying and dying through like a legitimate cycle of rot. Mm. Think about think about the idea like if you die, you know, you 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 die, your body stops working, rigor mortis sets in, then you start to decay. What a fun episode. <laughs> I I know, but <laughs> like uh, you you start like to decay, like your body starts to to rot and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Imagine like that physical process is still happening, but you're alive. Ew. So I so you oof. are decaying physically, but you're alive during the process. Yeah, like it, it's the it's the oh, that's it's the response. Well, no, you you don't don't feel feel much. Oh, they uh, normally because pain isn't really Nurgle's domain. Oh, that's he, true. You're right. Often yeah. you're so fucking tough because you're decaying and dying that all your nerve endings are like not working anymore. So you're that's why Death Guard is so resilient. That's why that's oh, why God. when Typhus was a big douchebag and put them into the warp, he was like, you know, everyone was suffering horribly because they were rotting and, and getting fucked up by Nurgle. And it would mm. turn them all into plague marine stuff, but it would stop their pain. Okay. Also, I was going to say, if, if you were alive and you could, like, feel the process of rot and decay, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God, kill me. Jesus. That's also, <laughs> Shy makes a point where the concept of pestilence needs to be alive to spread. So... You know, oh, a disease no. needs to live to spread. So if everything just dies immediately, it kind of is counterintuitive. So um, does Korn also hate Nurgle quite a bit? Because he wants to kill the bastards? Yeah, he's he's letting them, like, stay alive and rot and decay, and they just, it's like, oh, come on, man. I don't Let think him Korn die. Cares. I don't think Korn cares as much so long as people are dying. Um, okay. Though, I, at the same time, I, I, thought he I don't wanted, think Korn like, likes glorious... anybody. Oh well, yeah. Corn I, I hates guess that's Slanesh. true. There's there's Corn no hates chaos. Zinch. Probably doesn't like Nurgle. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, there, yeah. there probably wouldn't be too many chaos gods that Corn would get along with. No, because because he would hate Zinch because Corn hates psychers, and he oh, hates well, yeah. ma manip manipulative people. That's Zinch. Mm -hmm. He hates Slanesh for the, obviously that reason. I guess I mm -hmm. guess he could be okay with Nurgle so long as he's killing people. He um, is, maybe. but like all of his people are still alive and they're still walking around and their lives are prolonged. Like, wouldn't Korn want them to be finished off and killed? And I mean, none of the Chaos Gods truly, really enjoy each other's companies. That's why they're always <laughs> warring with each other. But that's true. There, there's like, a, I guess there's a level of hatred. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it really is like the mortal's unconscious response to fear of death. Like, the desperate, desperate fealty to cling to life no matter the cost is what allows Nurgle to kind of take his his grab, you know? Ooh. Like, I, I want to live no matter what. And he's like, no matter what. <laughs> and everybody okay. feels that, too. Like, man, Nurgle's got a... <laughs> Nurgle is well-fed. He really like. is. Holy shit. Chaos also seems a lot like the orcs, where it's like if the orcs could band together under like one banner for long enough to care, uh, they could probably wipe out the galaxy and just take it over themselves. Where it's like if the chaos gods could actually find a way to coexist, like everybody else would be kind of fucked. A little bit. It's also the concept of um, like they're all too busy fighting each other, yeah, in, in their mm -hmm. own realm. They also care more about their realm more like it's far more important to them to deal with the immaterium and the power struggle there uh, than it is to care about the mortal realm yeah so um, they don't really care what the imperium is doing so long as their realm is well protected true but you also think of it think of it kind of like halo you know like without the f uh, food source the flood will starve and die um without organic people like Humans are a huge amount of chaos. Oh, they have that's true. It's so human... much chaos. Right. It's it's their emotions and their deeds that are feeding chaos and making them strong. 
So chaos well, also, wouldn't really want to be like wiping out your food supply. Well, also, Necrons have no soul. Bugs are a hive mind. Eldar are well, Eldar are one of them, but they're in short supply. Mm -hmm. um, then you've also then orcs are a fungus. They just repopulate. The Tau, yeah. there's not enough. Yeah. You know, like there's really not a whole lot of other major options there. I was I was about to unironically say, oh man, why doesn't Chaos try to help the humans? And it's like, why bother when the humans are willing to turn to Chaos and be heretical all the fucking time? Yeah, but Chaos is based. <laughs> take, take the take the take the green pill, DK, to Nurgle. Wow, that's a cringe opinion, bro. I'd rather be based Imperium than based in pure <laughs> in, in pure pill. Um, <laughs> quote, in the embrace of great Nurgle, I am no longer afraid. For with his pestilential favor, I have become that which I once feared, death. Um, it, it's really, that's a Death Guard guy. Yeah, he, of course. You know, he's very much like, hey, I, I can become death. I can breathe the bringer of death, and I'm no longer scared to die anymore. In, in the universe, all rots. You know, in this universe, one must rot to survive. You know, all yeah. will rot, all all will end. Acceptance of it is the more important thing. Damn, I I, I am become death. Destroyer of worlds. Op Oppenheimer was Oppenheimer. Was yeah, Oppenheimer. I was close. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I become death. Destroyer of worlds. It's actually mm -hmm. really sad that. That little speech he makes. Yeah. I, I, have you ever seen him give that speech? Like, he's practically crying as he gives it. Oh, yeah. He's like, I've, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, history and circumstance. It's like, what have I done? Yep. Yep. It's quite. It's, it's very interesting. Oof. Um, That being said, uh, there are a couple interesting, kind of humorous bits of Nurgle that are that are rather impressive or, or just kind of <laughs> neat. Um, Nurgle demons. So there's a lot of Nurgle demons. Uh, now, you may have been familiar with the Nurgling. Do you know about the Nurgling? They sound familiar. Like, I think... Ah! What is that? I is that a Nurgling? It it's a Nurgling. Ew! It's like a Pikachu gone mad! Yeah? It's disgusting! Oh, the plushie's pretty cute, though. No, dude, <laughs> dude you, got, you gotta... Okay, you, you say this about all this kind of stuff, and, and or about these Nurglings and all that. But you have not. Yes, thank you, Shy. <laughs> That's the sassy Nurgling. What he's a. Uh, he's he is actually a he is actually an addition an addition to a to a Death Guard model. Oh my God! And he's Why the is he doing sassy the Nurgling. Step? He's doing. He's the sassy Nurgling. He's a Nurgling. I love the hands on hip and everything. He's doing the hokey pokey. He is. He, is it, you put see, your this, right this foot is, out. Uh, oh, that that, oh, that oh is the God. actual oh Nurgling Nurgling model. That's the oh God, real that's, one you use in the tabletop. It's oh a big. Boy, uh, that's that's so much worse. Oh my God. Yeah, but <laughs> that's Nurgling. So much worse. Oh my God, Nurglings are uh, they're gross. Other than the, so, the sassy Nurgling is fine. The other Nurglings are like, oh my God, I don't. Yeah. I can't. I can't even with that. Um, so there's what do they do? Also, Just eat flesh or something? There's little, yeah, little buggy little, boys. Little, little buggy boys. They run up there, eat stuff, kill things, spread disease. Cool. cool You've cool. also got uh, plague bearers. Plague bearers are also pretty interesting. They're um, they're little little lesser demons of Nurgle as well. Okay. Nurglings are, uh, uh, are are really gross. They're generally filled with pus and multiple mouths, and Ugh. they're <laughs> very very nasty. They probably they probably squish. I was gonna say why the pus, but I was like it's 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 Nurgle. I mean, of course, boils yeah, of and course. decay and rot. Yeah, you gotta have disgusting pus-filled orbs that... Blech. But, like, this is a, a plague bearer. Plague bearers look more like a a common idea of a demon. Oh, you know, more boy. tall, bipedal, humanoid-looking things. Maybe, like, a cyclops eye, perhaps. Yep, yeah, intestine hanging out. Ugh. Yeah, things, simple things like that. Uh, you've got plague drones, which if you do not like wasps, you won't like that. Oh boy! Um, oh. oh, so sorry. That's called a rot fly. Uh, a plague drone is a plague bearer that rides on top of it, but it's a plague fly. <sighs> or sorry, a rot fly. My bad, rot fly. Yeah, that's gross. 
You've got uh, Beasts of Nurgle. Beasts oh. of Nurgle are not... Are, are, ugh, I do not like these ones at all. Okay, um, these are very nasty. Oh, no! <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Oh, God. That, that looks like something that... Um, uh, who's the guy that made Pan's Labyrinth and all the gross monsters and that? Um, oh, Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo de yeah, it looks like something he'd make. That looks like a Guillermo del Toro monster for sure. The mini is not as bad if I'm being honest, but it's still gross. Oh, the mini sucks. Like, the mini is kind of silly. I mean, once I've seen the top one, it's kind of hard to be like, oh yeah, that, that fucking mini is so dope. That mini looks fucking dumb by comparison. <laughs> uh, now, there are there is, of course, the big one, though. And that is known as the Great Unclean One. Uh, you oh, may you have seen the Great Clean him. One. You have probably seen the Great Clean uh, One. Yeah, uh, the Great un Unclean One is absolutely enormous. Oh my God, they're that big? They are gigantic. Yo, I've only seen the mini, so I thought they were just like a big, like I thought they were like Jabba the Hut size. That's like bigger than a mountain. Well, I don't know if he's bigger than a mountain. That, that might be a scaling issue there. But, oh, okay. Uh, well, still, he's a giant. They are they are very big. I think that's like a maybe a Holy Death Guard in the bottom. Holy shit! Right? The, the great unclean ones are enormous. Um, they are gigantic, pussy. You know, they got intestines hanging out and yeah, bunch of crap. There's also the wow. named great unclean one, which I think is called. Uh, I'm forgetting its name. Is it Rodigus? I think it's Rodigus. Yeah, it's Rodigus. Just, I don't know why, but I wonder what kind of voice his stomach has. You think it also talks? <laughs> it yeah, dude, it talk. has to. It no way. It totally talks, right? Little demon with a two mouth. It totally talks. I wonder if he has conversations with himself. There, there's Rodigus. That's the mini for Rodigus. It's actually pretty good. Oh wow, that is disgusting. It is Holy very. Shit. Very nasty. Rodigus oh, is also known as Rodigus Rainmaker or the Rain Father, the the generous one. He really? he's constantly humming. He's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he just constantly like rips people apart and like diseases them and kills people. He's just doing his little. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ew. Uh, Rod Rodigus is Rodigus is constantly surrounded by a storm of filth and disease known as Nurgle's Deluge. So merely being near him is likely to get you drowned in sewage. Oh. After the Tau conquest of the planet Daharn, a massive drought and the failure of their hydrotech forced the Earthcast farmers to convert to the natives' religion and start praying for rain, only for them to learn that their fertility god was Rodigus, who quickly transformed their desert planet into a stinking bog. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. There's also oh, there's also Epidemi uh, Epidemius, which is the Tallyman of Nurgle. He's a, he's a herald man? of Nurgle. Yeah, a Tallyman of Nurgle. Okay, what's a Tallyman? Ah, uh, what is a Tallyman? Tallyman. For some reason, as soon as you said that, I was like, does he tally all of the deaths for Nurgle or something? Like, does he keep Oh, okay, okay. It's, it's exactly what I thought it was. Yeah, it's a person who keeps score or record or something. I thought it was, but I wasn't like... Oh, okay. There's, there is a character you could run in the Death Guard called the Tally Man. Huh. I was, I was um, gonna, like, what, what is it? What does he keep a tally of? I think he just keeps a tally of, like, disease and rot and things of that nature. Oh, boy, that's a, that's a big book. This is the tally man. Look, he's got a nurgling with two little uh, with little scrolls. Oh yeah, he does. He's got little, little and he's scrolls. got the little um the little the little bead thing to keep track yeah, of stuff. Yeah, the abacus. That's what it's he, called. You Thank know, you. You're old. He oh, wow. Um, it's also <laughs> called <laughs> it's also called having a brain, but that's fine. Um, Oof. <laughs> oh, brain Ooh. on the field. Um, no, not today. <laughs> not for you. Uh, he doesn't look so bad. Like he doesn't look so rotted and disgusting and malformed. Like he he looks like he's okay. Like he doesn't have an extra mouth anywhere. He's got those weird ass tentacles that are, you know, stroking that abacus. Um, but he he looks okay. He looks like he's having a, you know, decent time of it. I mean, I, I guess I'm looking at the wiki right now. They're mainly used to tally things like 
diseases inflicted, victories won, defeats suffered, ammunition expended. Um, and it's a tough job. They, they, <laughs> 40K, that's I guess a tough job. Like, it is, but I guess it's also a concept where they they also use the the tally of like Nurgle and the number of seven to invoke like a blessing. Um, no. But it's also kind of like a like it stirs the forces into excitement. So mm -hmm. it's like we have killed five thousand four hundred Imperial citizens, and then like all the bugs are like yeah yay, and they all go murder people better or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's like oh, it's okay. like the, the drummer boy. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Six million people have been infected. Ooh. We're so based. But uh, Paul one of the Chan. weird things that okay, I'm being infected. <laughs> But one of the weird things that you may not really realize when it comes to Nurgle stuff is, is Nurgle demons, like Nurgling, uh, Nurgle's guys are very happy. Oh, really? They, they have a very joyful demeanor. When they're going around infecting people, they're, they're got this very, like, remember that chant? Boas, oh, yeah, phlegm, yeah, yeah. blood and guts, spoils, bogies, rot and pus, blisters, fevers, weeping sores, from your wounds the fester pours. Like they're doing this with a smile on their face. They're like huh. the little, nur little nurglings act like little happy, silly raccoons. They're, they're like, they're, gi <laughs> they're giggling to each other and rolling around and falling over and laughing. And like, like it was a uh, shy posted in this chat. While Zinch seeks to twist fate and change reality, Nurgle teaches to accept entropy and rot and pers persevere despite it with solace and happiness. So like oh. when Richard Rodigus is like humming, they're like, mm-hmm, 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 stab, stab. So it's really not so bad to be like, like if you have to be converted to a chaos god, it's not so bad to be converted to like Nurgle because you don't feel it. And you're happily spreading like uh, disease and rot and whatever, and you're kind of happy about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, okay. Well, you're not really that happy under Nurgle. That's. I think you have a lot of depression. Um. Oh dear. Sure. Uh. Okay. So Shy has another thing, but I guess she got this from some. I think from one D four Chan probably. Probably. Yeah. Nurgle cares and he loves you. He brings you family, love, and the time to embrace that uh, love fully and become one with it. He accepts you for who you are as long as you stay that way. Also, don't wash, don't shave, don't change your underwear. You're great the way you are. I don't like I guess it. it's the concept where you're <laughs> great the way you are. Literally, right now, yeah. never change, never move. Yep. Rot. Oh, boy. That's... Uh... Okay, yep. It, it's memed on that Grandfather Nurgle loves you because he, he everything is, is one and the same. We are all to rot. We are all to decay. We are all the same that way. Uh, oh so there's a, there's a concept of that. That being said, you know, you there's a lot of pain in the beginning, I'm sure, and despair. Because despair mm. is also a part of it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but all of his demons are, are having a good time. Those plague bearers are singing a song and, and laughing amongst themselves as they're fighting. The the big, fat, fat old, uh, great clean ones are uh, unclean ones. Damn it. The great unclean <laughs> ones are, are probably like singing jolly like songs. Like, you, you know, that like think of it like, uh, you know, you know, um, what's it? Uh, not like John Goodman. <laughs> yes, I, I know of John Goodman. Well, John John Goodman is a very is a very large man, but he he's got like that jolly nature to him. His smile is very genuine, you know. Oh yeah, very, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm, I don't want to compare John Goodman to Nurgle because that's really mean <laughs> and not what I'm trying to go for. But I'm like, like it's the concept where it's like the the big the big jolly man. That's the yeah. stereotype, right? Like a, now, like in, Santa. Yeah, it's a, except he's instead of presents, the presents are are aids. It's pox. It's a pox. It's like, hooray, what'd you bring oh me for Christmas, Santa? It's a pox! Hooray! Wow, my intestine! Right? I'm just imagining, I'm just imagining Santa Nurgle as like Rich Evans. And he's like, <laughs> what'd you get, what'd you bring me for Christmas, Santa? Oh, don't worry, I got you AIDS! Uh, although now all I can picture is like the little Nurgling demons, but they're painted like in a Disney movie and they're all singing a happy song through the forest. This really pretty forest. Dude. And they just decay it. Dude. 
Disney princess Nurgle army. You give like a great unclean one, like the little Cinderella slippers for the feet and like the no. wig. Oh my, yeah. oh my God. Little, little blushy cheeks. All, that's like all smeared and shit on his like. Yeah, like the makeup's face. all crap and yeah. stuff. Like the, the lipstick is put on incorrectly. It's all smeared. Yeah. The second mouth has lipstick on it too. <laughs> oh my God. That's, oh my. DK, we're geniuses. We are geniuses. <laughs> we are we we are what the meme community of warhammer needed we mm, we're are we Please console. Are, are, are we are we change are we bringing change to warhammer memes i think the only thing we aren't is corn yeah we're we're yeah. zinch because we like trickery and to fuck around we're <laughs> nurgle because we're gamers we're slanesh <laughs> yep. because of our posters Oh, the yeah. only thing the only thing we're not is corn because neither of us are strong enough to beat people up. No, no, you're not gonna get a quick honorable death here. No, 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 no. It's gonna be a it's it's gonna be a slow, awful decay and rot, and you will learn to be happy with it. Please, please consult your physician before worshiping Nurgle, and then tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> well, corn we are is chaos, our was it corn is our comment section when you use they for a non-binary character? Oh, it's whatever. I like when a lot of people play this game, and I like when everyone has a chance and gets to feel welcomed. Because Nurgle loves you for who you are. Nurgle, Nurgle. doesn't give a shit what you identify as. Nurgle doesn't give a shit what you put your dick in. Nurgle don't care. Nurgle doesn't care what race you are, what nationality. We all rot. We all rot together. We all rot together. That's mm. what matters. You are welcomed in Nurgle's yeah. council. Yeah. Everybody. Every. Regardless. Good old Papa Nurgle. Grandfather. Oh, well, I guess Papa Nurgle, too. A grandfather mm -hmm. Nurgle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a... Um, and then, oh, of course, I guess we kind of can discuss entropy. Because entropy is, you know, chaos. Like, things everywhere. Oh, yeah. and mm -hmm. um, So, God of entropy in the sense of, like... You know, you let like organized chaos, like you just let things happen because it's, yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's Nurgle, you know, it's yeah, not, of course, why not? You're not trying to make things, not trying to contain it or adjust it like a zinch thing. Just, it's going you on. Let it's it happening. go. Yeah. Just let it happen. Who cares? Let it go. Yeah. I can't there is, the, there is that other, that other part though, where I think, I think Nurgle's, is, I think he wants you to know living is like a futile concept. It's like, you will die. We all will die. You need to accept death and accept that you are a disgusting, fat piece of shit. And then if you do, <laughs> you will be happier. Well, I mean, if you accept it, you probably will. Because if you, if you live your whole life in fear of death, you're just... That's not really a life, you know? You I mean, we've seen, we've seen very well with the Kriegsmen... It's very <laughs> frightening to deal with someone who doesn't care about their own life. But yeah. not only do Nurgle and Nurgle lights not care about their own well-being, they also don't feel the pain and they're incredibly tanky. So imagine yeah. fighting an entire an entire, for example, Death Guard, Space Marine Legion with nothing to lose and mm. not not getting hurt by your stuff. Yeah, Death Guard, Death Guard are scary. You got, then you got they, they, don't, they they feel nothing and they fear that they, they don't fear death and their space marines Ugh. can you can you imagine like you just like i'm i'm just a classic old guardsman and then just in the distance you see giant moth wings and just primark <laughs> mortarian of the death guard is just coming his way over and you're like i i don't why am i here like i have time no to right. go time to go we gotta get the fuck out of here Cause then you got typhus and like 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 oh, something I didn't mention very much oh, about yeah, Nurgle typhus. is like so... often in Nurgle demons and Nurgle guys like they have a a literal black cloud of flies surrounding them. Oh, like there is a wave, a physical wave like liquid in the air of flies oh, at all God. times, and said flies carry disease and they will either block uh. bullets. Due to oh. the ma like due to the mass of flies, 
because there's just so many you can't pierce it or they will go on out and cover you and sting you and bite you and cons and d infect you oh, or or God. get in your mouth and your eyes and your ears and imagine so you know awful. when a, when a fly flies uh, next to your ear or in your ear and you're like you're like ah and you slap your ear yeah yeah imagine that but like a flood yeah. like a wave of flies oh i don't know i don't want to imagine that I, I, imagine I, it dk I, mm, oh it's awful it's terrible mm. it hurts oh that's bad that's no good uh so w w like would you how do you even combat that like my my first instinct would be um I, get the heavy flamer brother um other than that it doesn't seem like much is good like even even with fire like they, they're not going to feel it. They're going to keep trudging through it, right? But, yeah, I mean, whenever whenever you got something that looks like zombies, it's like, well, fuck it. Light them on fire. That'll do it. Now, DK, mm -hmm. let me introduce you to something, all right? Okay. <laughs> Masks and vaccinations. <laughs> Shy. All right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, all right. Where all right, are your DK. N94s, guys? <laughs> Six feet away from the death guard. Social <laughs> distance, you idiots. Dude, dude, if you social distance from a great unclean one, he legally can't infect you. Just say no. <laughs> now, DK, I want you to introduce you to something, okay? Okay. This is called a Death Strike Missile Launcher. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, for the strength of a great unclean one... I do not quite believe he will survive a direct impact with a Death Strike missile launcher. So you if you know. wish to fight Nurgle, I say we take four of these. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I, I guess I guess that'd probably do it. I guess that would yeah, you're right. From a distance. Yeah. But like if you are unsuspecting and Nurgle like a bunch of Nurgle shit lands on your planet, you're kind of fucked. Like, it doesn't sound like there's a whole lot you're going to do to stop them. Like, even well, if you have, like, a chapter of Space Marines there. Like well, it, think of it. Well, think of it this way. Think of it this way. Name a situation in which your planet is invaded by any faction of 40k and tell me the strength they have to fight them. Well, I guess you're right. Unless like, it's Nur like fucking gets, Holy Terra. Like, yeah, kind of like Nurgle arrives. Around. Nurgle arrives, you're pretty boned. The Tyranids arrive, you're pretty boned. Yeah. The Necrons arrive, you're very boned. <laughs> you know, the Orcs arrive, you're probably boned. Yeah. Like, like you, you are a, a Chaos Cultist, and Ultramarines with plot armor arrive. You're pretty boned. <laughs> you're pretty boned. <laughs> Ultramarines with the plot armor arrive? It's true, that's what that's what their blue armor should be called. The, the plot armor. It's fucking yeah, it's blueberries. Anyway, like you, there's often That's unless true. you have a fighting force prepared to deal with it, then yeah. you're pretty much boned. Yeah, I guess in 40k you kind of have to be reactive. It's like, oh hey, this one planet got uh, taken over by Nurgle, and it's like, well that planet's fucked. But hey, let's uh let's amass a fighting force that can properly deal with Nurgle, maybe, and maybe deal with it. Because you can't really be proactive maybe. about that shit. Like there's. Uh, well, you can to an extent, but it takes a while and it requires time. Yeah. Um, also, yeah, Nurgle likes to do a lot of his quote-unquote invasions via, you know, classic pandemic, a disease that, that arrives at the planet, fucks up everybody, they're all weakened and sick, and then he brings in actual forces, you know? It's like... Gotcha. It's hard to like. It's hard to fight that without masks and and uh, social distancing. <laughs> so he literally uses pandemics to weaken wherever he's about to invade, and then once wait, they're weakened, he goes wait a in minute. And just... Wait a minute. We're yeah. Earth is getting invaded. Oh no, own. we're being prepped. We're being mm -hmm. prepared. And they're yep. coming. Wear your goddamn masks, people. God. Look what's happened. Look what's happened. Now we're all gonna die. Yeah. Well, hey, listen. It it could be worse, you know. Uh, I'm 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 already a cave dwelling, uh, you know, the gamer. So it it'll it'll just be another day at the office for me, you know. Yeah, but now you're a cave dwelling sick gamer who's gonna die. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. 
Damn, DK. You're a very he, good Nurgle slave, I must say. He accepted hey, it, it. He's done it. DK's accepted <laughs> the gift of entropy. DK hey, is, is... You are it, a follower of Nurgle now, DK. It, we it comes with its it. pluses. Now I don't have to waste time bathing, right? So. Hell yeah, brother. Why would I spend 20 minutes <laughs> bathing when I could use those 20 minutes to go run a Destiny Strike? My Hello? name has been Bricky. Thank you very much for watching this wonderful episode on Nurgle. DK, any closing thoughts? Um, no, no. The the only thoughts in my head can't be portrayed with the. Uh, I was trying to make a thoughts joke with the. Uh, that didn't. And the fucking episode. God. You know, Nurgle loves a good brothel. <laughs> Plenty of disease being traveled through there. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, my name is DK Diamantes. Tip your local Bravo hostess. I don't know. Just remember, cut boys. Cut it. It's, remember, boys. <laughs> it's not just the theater where you need to clap. Oh. Or you need the you need the clap. I, oh. ah, fuck. I, Whatever. You should have stopped right there. I got I it. They got there. it. You, the you fuck, got it. Man. I fucked it up. Ah, right, I'm, go Jesus. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to bed and shit and piss. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>